Law Warrior Online, Mercenaries. Canopian Highlanders. Things change. Formed after the Reunification War, the Highlanders quickly became well known for their hatred of the Inner Sphere. But as the growth of nearby independent states began to present a more immediate threat to their main employer, the Magistracy of Canopus, the Highlanders' indiscriminate hatred gradually evolved into fanatical pro Canopus sentiment. They are now the oldest mercenary command employed by the Magistracy, and one of the most dependable and respected units in the periphery. Most recently, the Highlanders were moved from their post along the Magistracy Torian Concordat border and redeployed to help garrison Canopian worlds near the Marian Hegemony. The Canopian Highlanders employ a green with gold striping paint scheme. The regimental insignia is a stylized planet wearing a tam cap, and it's painted on the upper left torso of units' mechs and worn as a patch on uniforms. Battalion crests are painted on the upper right legs of mechs and the right wings of aerospace craft, and also worn as a patch on the right shoulder. The official Highlander dress uniform is a dark green jumpsuit worn with black vest, boots and gloves, all trimmed in gold. A gold-trimmed half-cape of black leather, worn on the right side, completes the ensemble. Dragoon ratings, A+. Officers When Colonel Oscar Long died during hegemony raids against the world of Gambelon, he was replaced by Major Judith Wood, commander of the experienced 2nd Battalion. Wood now manages the defence of the Magistracy's anti-Spinwood border from the world of Marantha, coordinating and commanding the Highlander Regiment, the Screaming Eagles, the Magistracy Cavaliers, and others. Wood has little use for bureaucrats, and is known for her ability to make hard choices when faced with an untenable position. Tactics Despite years of duty on separate worlds, individual Highlander forces maintain a bond that seems near unbreakable. They can fight independently or in full regimental strength with equal effect, 1st Battalion prefers defensive engagements, while 2nd Battalion specialises in protracted campaigns, using its heavier mechs to hurt an enemy, and its faster medium mechs to cover the withdrawal. Canopian Highlanders, Regiment, Regular, Fanatical, 1st Battalion, Major Emery Thompson, CO, 2nd Battalion, Colonel Judith Wood, XO, Major Ashley Benton, 3rd Battalion, Major Dorothy Score. The three Highlander battalions each contain 36 mechs and have no independent command units. The force contains 12 advanced mechs and 40 tons worth of advanced tech salvage taken from Marian Hegemony raiders. 1st Battalion, Thompson's Light Lancers, is regular and relies on light and medium machines. 2nd Battalion, Woods Warriors, is a veteran unit of medium to heavy mechs. 3rd Battalion, Dorothy's Daughters, is green and includes light and heavy mechs. The Dawn Patrol, Wing, regular, fanatical. Wing Commander, 1st Flight, Major Jonathan Sweet. 2nd Flight, Captain Samantha O'Reilly. First Flight, which is attached to Woods Warriors, is composed of six veteran pilots and medium weight craft. Second Flight, attached to Dorothy's Daughters, is composed of regular pilots, equipped with light and medium fighters. The Bannermen. Two regiments. Regular, reliable. Infantry Commander, Colonel Andrea Quick. First Regiment, Major Talbot Baker. Second Regiment, Major Ingrid Ullenstra. The Bannermen are led by Colonel Andrea Quick, who employs a VTOL-equipped motorised platoon as an independent command unit, an arrangement that provides Quick with superior battlefield mobility. The Bannermen's 1st Regiment, Baker's Dozen, is organised into 12 companies. Each company contains light and heavy infantry support and a motorised platoon, and can operate independently. 2nd Regiment, the Fighting Scots, is composed of standard and heavy infantry. These troops are typically deployed in battalion formation.